As they posed for the cameras in Brussels, the central question being posed to EU leaders was if they could find a solution to the migrant crisis. For some, this has appeared to become decisive over recent weeks. Angela Merkel has had to concede ground to her domestic allies. On Sunday, there was a further concession, at least in tone. We all agree that we want to reduce illegal migration, that we want to protect our borders, and that we're all responsible for all topics. It cannot be the case that some only deal with primary migration and others only with secondary migration. Everybody is responsible for everything. Wherever possible, we want European solutions. Where this is not possible, we want to bring those who are willing together and find a common framework for action. The issue has been brought into sharp focus by scenes like these, filmed aboard the vessel MV Lifeline in the Mediterranean. 226 people rescued from the sea, but stuck on the ship as different countries refused to accept them, as it were a metaphor for the entire migrant crisis. It is extremely difficult, and I would say it's even harder now than it might have been two or three years ago, because in the interim we've seen a number of government changes, including a number of hardline governments who've got more vocal. Um, but also we've seen a polarizing of positions between countries based on their experience of migration. Italy has proposed a 10-point plan to try to drive the discussion forward, suggesting different EU countries accept reception centres as part of a commitment to abandon the previous Dublin regulation, whereby refugees must claim asylum in their arrival country. As he left Brussels on Sunday, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte tweeted his happiness at the way the talks had progressed. When this meeting was first called, it was with the hope that 16 member states might be able to iron out some of the problems and then present solutions to the 28 member state meeting that takes place on Thursday and Friday this week. The question is, will there be any kind of compromise acceptable to the full EU summit? Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Brussels.